Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Allah Akbar, Allah ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له ولي مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحييتنا واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا اللهم على من عادانا اللهم ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر أمنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا يخافك ولا يرحمنا يا رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم ترونها تذهل كل مرضعة عما أرضعت وتضع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارى وما هم بسكارى ولكن عذاب الله شديد وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة العالمين سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وعنا معهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى the most compassionate, the most merciful all praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم He who is guided by the will of Allah no one can misguide him and he who is misguided no one can guide him except Allah سبحانه وتعالى I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. 
respected brothers and sisters in Iman, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The honor of being a Muslim at times when humanity is searching for solution. This is the title of my khutbah. The honor of being already a Muslim. You are already a Muslim. You are ready to serve your deen. Allah willed that humanity opened their eyes as a golden opportunity looking for an alternative, a solution because they discovered something they were not aware of. This is our topic. Now, while I was preparing in Arabic, I remembered very beautiful parts of a verse or a poem. It says, وَفِي اللَّيْلَةِ الظَّلْمَاءِ يُفْتَقَدُ الْبَدْرُ In the very dark night, people miss the full moon. When it's in the day, no one cares about the moon. But when it's very dark, the people, they do appreciate what full moon is, not tiny, small <coughs> stars. Full moon. They desperately in need. But sometimes the people might be thinking, because they were brainwashed, that the best light is the tiny stars. Because simply they have no idea about the full moon. Once, for whatever reason, Allah willed to let the people have a, a moment of a look that there is a full moon, they will realize how nothing stars is. <laughs> so this is my topic. Why I'm saying that? Uh, to limit myself with the time, I said everyone is witnessing the collapse of humanity and the collapse of the big slogans, the collapse of universal claimed values. We are witnessing this on a daily basis now, for the first time. Now there is a vacuum, big vacuum, farah, in social, in political, in media levels, big vacuum. But why? Is it just because of what is happening in Palestine and Gaza now? Yes. Yes. And no. Is it because the only unique time? No. By the way, just for your information, what's happening in Gaza, many similarities with this and worse happened, but it was not recorded live. Simple idea. Those who are above 40 and 50 in my age, they know what happened by the Syrian regime in Hama and Damascus in 1997-80-81. The majority of Muslims, they have no idea about that what the Assad regime did for them. Tens of thousands. They bombed them with MiG. You know, the Russian Assad. They smashed them, they killed them, they raped and they killed. But, no recording. <laughs> Tens of thousands. Type. Not to go very far, 97. 1995. Bosnian Muslims in the middle of Europe. In the middle of Europe. Serbs. The United Nations admitted officially, and please bear in your mind, when United Nations admit officially, the reality will be at least two times, double, or three times, or four times, when they admit. Especially something has to do with Muslims, because they always tend to close their eyes. So when they admit what I will be, to go and check behind me in Google. United Nations admitted that Serbs raped. 260,000 Muslim women in four official rape camps. Rape camps. And the satellites, they were observing that. They know it. And everyone knows that. You go and do it in the history, you will know that. But it happened. Do you know what could have happened to us if we were watching the direct rape of quarter million Muslim alive. And by the way, not even one single 
sister now is raped and what happens. They are killed, yes, but they are not raped. So I'm just giving you an idea about the will of Allah. Muslims in India, Rohingya, we have a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, Chechens, about 95, by Russians and the Putin. But what is new now? The new now that, by the will of Allah, there's something called social media. <laughs> and good, nice, honest individuals. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Who could have ever imagined that the idol, the god of some Americans, CNN, could systematically, systematically, they lie. <laughs> because we witnessed it live. Has anyone on earth not witnessed the lady, the American CNN presenter, when she was acting as if she is <laughs> under the rockets, acting. They were not aware that they are alive. <laughs> she was, you know, she was there. Okay, that's good. Okay, now act as if the okay, okay. Live. The Allah made just this incident be exposed. What about tens and hundreds of thousands that we did not know? This is the new. The why I'm saying that. I repeat the title of my khutbah. The honor of Muslim at times when humanity is searching for a solution because when they discover that there is a disaster and what they have they might think to leave it okay what is the alternative if there is no alternative why should I care here comes the importance of that topic I continue people discovered how hypocrisy has been prevailed and dominant for tens of years how big slogans were just empty words. United Nations, Security Council, big parliaments, mainstream media, they did not just fail to stop humanitarian crises such as genocide and ethnic cleansing. Actually, they were supporting most of the time. But this is new because we are an eyewitness live about this. But by the way, in many cases, they always used to be. I'm not talking about a new phenomenon in humanity. Then you think that Allah made majority of people on earth witness. Like what does this mean? This means in my simple, humble understanding for what we call the Sunan Kauniyah. The universal laws that have been designed, created and laid down where Allah operates his universe. This is called Iqamatul Hujjah. To establish the argument, which means Allah is leaving no room or space for anyone to say in the day of judgment, Ya Allah, I did not understand. Oh my Lord, I did not know. <laughs> Small child now in a village, in the extreme part of nowhere, is able to see now. SubhanAllah. What is this? Iqamat Hujja. So what about big bosses what about giants of media who are playing with the algorithm they know okay how many of those billions from arabs and non-arabs muslims and non-muslims we have tyrants we have dictators we have liars we have hypocrites all of these categories can any one of them dare to stand and to say i did not know love allah Maybe some other times they are excused. So they have exceptional cases, might be excused. Now, no. This is very important. But my topic. So I, I continue. After all of this, I mean, what's happening now in the last two and a half months, humanity, in my understanding, generally speaking, woke up. Now, I'm putting myself in their shoes. As if they are saying, okay, we were lied to. We've been cheated. We've been brainwashed. Here comes the very serious moment and big question for millions of those neutral people, good people, nice people, individuals. Big question. We discovered that we've been cheated. They were lying. They are hypocrites. Okay, and all and alternatives. Type. Big question. What is the alternative? <laughs> okay. We know that this system and that system is based on false lies. Okay. Type. 
Any alternative? If there's no alternative, the only solution will be go and drink and sleep. <laughs> what shall I do? Drugs, alcohol, sleep, and that's it. Continue your life till you die. <laughs> what else? But when they know that there's an alternative, big hope of searching to this alternative, knowing it, stacking to it, adapting, embracing. Here comes the serious, you know, serious equation. Why people of big powers, they need Islam to be destroyed as an image. Because they don't want those people to know the reality. The reality of what? But let's continue. Now, the alternative. For you and me, we know what's the alternative. It's the deen of Allah. It's Islam. Period. Islam was revealed to provide solution for humanity. It's a but how many people they are aware of this? This is the big question. We are for we are still colonized. Most of our countries still colonized. If anyone thinks that, for example, our Arab countries they have real independence, really is fooling himself. Okay, we have weakness. We don't. We don't have our politics. We don't manufacture. We, yes. Okay. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, by His will, made like a surprise, boom, like this, made the people aware of this reality. False, 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 false. Lying, 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 lying. Hypocrisy, 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 hypocrisy. Okay. As if, in my simple, humble language, as if Allah decided to interfere directly and physically to remove some of the obstacles from our faces and the faces of the people as if he's telling us, okay, show that you are honest and sincere in your claims. You were crying, Ya Allah, let us get the real. I opened the eyes of billions now. What are you doing with your deen? <laughs> are you still living your life without caring just for yourself or not? Talk about myself as well. So this is a golden opportunity. Why I go back to the title of my khutbah, the honor of being a Muslim when human beings are searching for a solution. Uh, he's a reporter. Right, continue. Because I'm building a, a concept. But the alternative. Now, they need those people, very people who discovered that started looking for an alternative there are those very people who discovered the truth of being in false paths need what? Focus with me now. And I hope we all agree on this. They need honest, proud, practicing followers of the alternative, which is Islam. Or otherwise, they will be cheated as well, again. Because it's just a slogan and no application. They need genuine, honest followers of the alternative, which is Islam. Or otherwise, why to leave what they have? Because it's not an alternative. <laughs> cheating, cheating. If God... Imagine I'm a simple, humble, ignorant non-believer. Because of what happens in Gaza, I just noticed that there is a big, big, big mistake in what I used to trust. Liberalism, secularism, whatever, ism, 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 imperialism, communism. So I decided not to accept any kind of isms. Let's see the claim of Islam and Muslims. I started looking at search. If God forbid, if God forbid, what I'm encountering and seeing and dealing with the majority of them, they cheat, they lie, they don't care, <laughs> they say something, do something else. So what's the solution? Nothing. Wallahi, I prefer to go back to what I used to be in, knowing that I've been cheated, but, but just, I will have an extra dose of alcohol every night. This is the only thing that I will do. Well, not. By common sense. So, the, the to see honest, proud, practicing followers of the alternative. They need to see those who believe in it, they practice it, and they are proud of it. Having a good knowledge and ready to serve their religion because those people believe that their solution 
is the only solution for humanity. Because this is why Allah decided to send Islam as the final solution for humanity. Let me give you just a simple example. I was preparing how we should be looking at ourselves. Just to make it simple. Go back about three years back, two years and a half, when Corona started. Four years back from today, who, who expected that human beings will start using online communication with this intensive? No one, no one. I, by the way, I myself, I'm the resident scholar at Oakville Dar Foundation. Part of my job there was to establish like a small college of Islamic studies. I was communicating with professors and PhD holders in Islamic studies from many countries to bring them to Oakville to do like an Islamic college. And I, part of my plan, it was to save about 10, 15, maximum 30% of the courses to do it online in case. Some people ask for the online. It was not part of our vocabulary. Out of a sudden, Allah willed one of the soldiers of Allah, his or her name, I don't know how Corona identifies itself. It depends. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. or Ms. or Miss Corona decided to appear. Out of a sudden, everyone at home, out of a sudden, people, they need online communication. Let's see the will of Allah about Zoom. I am, I, I'm not an expert in technology. I'm just a PhD holder of Islamic studies. Yeah. about applications, how to communicate with people to teach them. Zoom was not an option. I can tell you, Zoom was not an option. I had another 10 options to use in my teaching and Zoom had no rating in the first top 10. <laughs> in weeks, weeks, Zoom application became number one on earth. It's not tens of millions, not even hundreds of millions. Now billions are using it. The critical question, if Zoom was not there, ready, already programmed, waiting for the opportunity. They did not imagine that this opportunity would come. But they were there ready. <laughs> they have done their job. <laughs> Out of a sudden, the will of Allah decided to let billions of people use their application. From human, economic, financial point of view, okay, they used to be Investors in a company which say maybe tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, out of a sudden they became multi-billionaire. And maybe recently they become a multi-trillionaire. <laughs> it's not a big deal, the money. But I'm talking about the philosophy of the concept. When humans were in need, Zoom was there. Pew! Was taken. Let's make the analogy. Allah, metaphorically, send us humanity to show them like hey these kind of slogans most of them they are empty words human rights united nations security council <laughs> not to educate all of them they are empty words but alternative muslims are there the system is there the practical application is there. You can see, compared to all of his life, he's using a very, very bad, let's say, weak cell phone or mobile phone. He used to hear about the iPhone, but the information about the iPhone was very bad from enemy company. iPhone is the worst, iPhone is rubbish, iPhone is garbage, iPhone, iPhone. So he's very happy with his rubbish cell phone. <laughs> For whatever reason, those who were controlling him, they just left him for a while. Someone with iPhone 15 Pro Max came next to him. What's this? This is iPhone. Oh, you mean the rubbish. No, no, it's, uh, it's not rubbish. Who told you that's rubbish? 
No, no, I know it's rubbish. <laughs> Excuse me, you have false information. Would you like to show you what does iPhone do? Small presentation. <gasps> oh my God. So they were lying, yes? Cheaters, yes? Well, well, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, Assalamu alaikum. I know, just I leave. <laughs> it's his call now. <laughs> he will be chasing me. Because he realized the security, the power, the resolution, the communication, the images. The, it's amazing. The sound. Woo! So you were cheating? Yes, they were cheating. Okay. But maybe some of them say, okay, I knew that they were cheating, but I can do nothing. I don't want troubles. Khalas, <laughs> Habib. That's the consequences. There is day of judgment. We all will stand before Allah. You discover the truth, but you did not follow it. This is another kada. This is exactly the meaning of kufur. <laughs> but I discovered I want to follow, and no one can stop me. May Allah accept from you who can stop you. This is the point. So my, my urge to myself, my respect, brothers and sisters, because of what happens in Palestine, tens of millions, they became aware that there is an alternative. They had no idea before about it. You, me, we, I, inherited it by the bounty and the blessing of Allah. It's not because we are unique. No, 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 no. Allah favored us. However, let's be thankful. Thankful to let those people be aware about how precious, how valuable it is. In this context, let me just give you like a quick way. How can I show those people the value of what I have? Because Allah pushed them to think about what I have. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. It's Allah. How can I show them the real value? One of the possible, my, my understanding, from my, my personal uh, uh, you know, experience. Focus on what they need. Focus on what they suffer from. Simple example. Can anyone claim that humanity are not facing a big crisis in the broken families? Can anyone claim that people, especially in the West, they are not facing a serious problem with alcohol addiction, drug addiction, prostitution, porno industry? Interest! <laughs> Interest! We are all suffering from the application of the big, big, you know, giants who are saving us through the banking system. Interest. We are of us, whether you love or not, but you are suffering. So when you tell him about the non-believer, I challenge every person on earth, literally, not metaphorically, bring me a non-believer, atheist, whatever, follows anything, ask him, would you be happy if you discovered that your wife is cheating? It's impossible to say yes. <laughs> bring any female, ask her, do you feel comfortable, nice, when you discover that your husband is cheating, mustahil. She will say no, I will not. Regardless if she's doing or accepting socially, I'm asking about her real fitra-based feeling. No. Which means, she would love, he would love. But who can give the highest percentage of guarantee to stop all of sexual problems and cheatings. It's Islam. Because Zina is haram. Innegotiable. It's not your, not your decision or mine. It has nothing to do with the parliaments. Corrupted politicians. It's the decision of Allah. Period! Of alcohol. Who can claim that alcohol is not one of the top ten causes of car accidents in many countries on earth? Who can claim otherwise? Especially in the United States. From top ten always. Hundreds of thousands of people because of drugs. So stop it. No. Shahwa desire. Takhada ilaha hu hawa. In Islam, Christian Ibu. Haram to drink it. Haram to buy it. Haram to sell it. Haram to trade it. Haram. But what if all scholars they decided to change Islam? We will kick them out to the garbage because it's the decision of Allah. No one can play games with the rules of Allah. But what about prostitution? Haram. What about porno industry? Haram. What about haram? Do we have solutions for them? Yes. Definitely, yes. <laughs> Even if, you, if they don't believe in Islam, we have solutions. What if they believe? Because you know what was the biggest, biggest trigger point that attracted all of those people in Islam? The biggest, number one. How do those people, i.e. people of Gaza, 
are able to have this patience. He lost everything in materialistic aspect. Family, money, houses, land, everything. And the first word, Alhamdulillah. What? Alhamdulillah for what? <laughs> Mind the Yes, because you don't share me the bigger image of my faith. Yes. Alhamdulillah. They, they can't grasp the concept of Fuzdu wa Rabbul Kaaba. It's very difficult for them. But when they know it, okay, this is not the end. How do you think we acquire? Because we have Akhirah, hereafter, accountability, Jannah. <laughs> All of this recipe and equation, we have the patience. And not a friend left them, he might think to, suicide, to commit suicide. What if he is bankrupt? Definitely he will think about suicide. <laughs> because money is everything. But for us, money is not everything. Because we believe that the real owner of the money is Allah. Actually, the real order of my body is Allah. That's why committing suicide in Islam is haram. It's not an option. We don't believe in euthanasia. We don't believe that uh, we will have his consent. <laughs> you don't own your body in Islam. I, I decided to end up my life. You have no right in Islam to end up your life. But I, I feel pain. It's part of your test. Allah will test you and you will be upgraded, lifted, cleansing from your sins and will go directly to the Jannah. Full image, understanding what, when, how, why. So this is the impressing point was for them. But what's the rest? We have full system. It's not the end. This is about patience with disaster. Because it's not the case that everyone is in a disaster with this war. No. Some of them, they need to solve their family problems, relations, cheating, drugs, lying, respect with this. Can anyone in the West claim that there is no serious problem in terms of relation between daughters and sons and their parents? Respect, which is we are proud to announce that we, it's part of our faith. Number two after worshipping Allah is to respect highly the parents. Even if they were non-believers, even if they were pushing you to be a kafir, yet you have to respect them. Compare it with the reality. How millions of them, they die without anyone knows that they have passed away days or weeks or months. How many times? How many times? Retirement houses. It should be an exception in any society. You might need it, but it's as an exception, not as a base. As a base means the society is about to collapse or has already collapsed. As an exception, still living. For us, the king and the queen is their grandpa and the grandma. Seven of the grandchildren, they will serve their food because of Allah, not because we are good people. No, no, no. By the way, we, originally, any one of us, Pakistani, Somali, Arab, Palestinian, whatever, without, Umar Khattab said it. Any nation, without Allah, Look to Hitler and Nazism. They had all what you could ever imagine from materialistic things. Yet, they, they came up with Nazism and they destroyed 62 millions. <laughs> so that's why we need Allah. Now, my point is, please be proud. Show your identity. Let the people take from you the alternative because they discovered the reality. I say this, I say this, I say إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلن تجد له ولي مرشدا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له ملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميته على كل شيء قدير اللهم ارحمنا فوق الأرض وتحت الأرض ويوم العرض عليك يا كريم اللهم ارحم شهداءهم هدى وجرحاهم واشف مرضاهم يا الله وتجاوز عنهم يا رب العالمين وكن معهم ولا تكن عليهم اللهم ارحمنا وارحم والدينا والد والدينا واصحاب الحقوق والواجبات علينا يا كريم اللهم انا عبيدك ابناء عبيدك ابناء امائك نواصينا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاءك 
نسألك بكل اسم منه لك سميت به نفسك أو نزلته به كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك أن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا يا رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة Allah'a emanet olun.